Today I'm going to show you how to install a NoPixel 4.0 inspired HUD created by this person. It's a heavily edited version of QB HUD with the option to have manual transmissions. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Now in your resources, navigate to the QB folder. Find QB HUD and delete it. Then drag over what you downloaded. We'll then go into the folder and look at some of the options in the config. I'm not going to change a lot in here. The first thing I will change is using miles per hour. By default, it's set to kilometers per hour. This is optional and based on your preference. If you want to enable miles per hour, there is another thing you have to change, which I'll show shortly. So I'm going to scroll down a bit to the HRS gears section. Here you have the option to add more gears for specific vehicles. The first thing that's outlined are the gears. Below that is where you add the vehicle and the gear ratios you want it to have. There's more information in the commented out text. Then there's the option to break the car if you don't downshift correctly and a HUD setting. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. Next, I'm going to show you where to make the change if you opted to use miles per hour. If you didn't, you can skip this step. So go back to the QB HUD folder and into the HTML section. From there, open the styles.css. Once you're in there, use Control and F and search for KPH. Once you're here, replace this with MPH, then hit File and Save. Next, we'll move on to adding the manual vehicles. So go back to the QB HUD folder and open the HRS Gears.Lua. Here's where you add the vehicles you want to have a manual transmission. There are already two here. I'm going to add one, so place a comma. And then enter the vehicle's name. After that, hit File and Save. Then you can start your server and test it out. I'm back in the server now. As you can see, the icons have changed. I'll go ahead and spawn a vehicle. So we have the seatbelt icon, the speed, the unit, and the fuel level. It also displays an A as this is an automatic vehicle. I'll go ahead and spawn the adder. Most of it's the same, now it's displaying an N because we're in neutral. So to shift up, use left shift. And then to downshift is left control. Then if you keep going down, you'll be in reverse. And that's basically it. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.